Are you a heavy sipper? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, not no more, though. I used to be. Like, really? You calm down on yeah, it? Yeah, I calm down. Because, man. Why? That point threes will get you fucked up. I'm telling you, pour three every day. You're going to fuck yourself up by the end of the week. You're going to be in the hospital. I went to the hospital. They had to. They had to suck that shit out my dick, like yeah, like what? I almost, I almost croaked on that syrup. Like ask my mom, yeah, that young boy tell you, yeah, like me, man, me, young boy drunk pints, like we didn't drunk, we didn't, we young boy pulled up pints, like we used to drink pints a day, like, and then we just recently started pouring threes when you know when that shit, like pour three, for three, man, do that shit for three. Three shit. Now, okay, what point did it get to you having to go to the hospital? Did you just pour too much that day, or was it a culmination of just the heavy usage of it that landed you in the hospital? It was like drinking, it, like from them days, like led up to that day, because like we had drunk a whole pint. Like we was drinking pint for pint for pint. Like, yeah. I give him the fuck, cause like, I don't know, we had a lot of that shit, that shit cheap. Now, what happened to make you even go to the hospital? Did you have a pain in your stomach? Or? Yeah, yeah, I, I felt my stomach, like, I felt my, my stomach just locked up, and I just dropped to the floor. Wow. My mom brought me straight to the, um, uh, emergency, emergency room. Yeah, and they, yeah. They, and they stuck a tube? Yeah, yeah. On your... Yeah, and it sucked it out my shit. And that, yeah. Was that painful? Yeah. Yeah. When they stick a tube in you like that, do they numb you before they do that, or are they just? No, no. I mean, like, I, it was like. I mean, you I've, really, I've you never. You really don't feel it till like you. They really sucking the shit out you, but shit, like, I don't know, like, you don't want to fuck with that shit, like that shit, yeah. So they suck the, I guess, what would they, what did they call it, like an, <laughs> what would they call it, like an overdose? Yeah, is it an yeah, overdose OD, or is it a OD. poisoning of your stomach? Or yeah. what, what's the actual label to? I don't know, like, I don't know, the shit just shit at the bottom of your stomach, like it's right by your, you know, like right under your shit, so I don't know, like. And then what happens, your stomach like unlocks or something? No, like, I don't know, I was, I went to sleep after they did that shit, so, like, they give you medicine, I don't know. Like, I just, That sounds I just, so painful. Yeah, that shit was fucked up. Just the description of it. Yeah. Now, after that, did you quit, or did you just slow up on sipping I, it? Yeah, or? I slowed up on that shit. Have you ever tried to quit altogether, like, period, like, I'm not sipping no more? Yeah, I tried it. But Whatever. it don't work. <laughs> that shit gonna have you now won't eat, now won't sleep. I don't know. I heard the withdrawals can be very, yeah. very bad, and that's what keeps people addicted yeah. to. The shit tastes so good, cause I <laughs> man, I swear, man, I sip that shit like Kool Aid. Like now, when you say it tastes good, are you talking about sipping it raw, like straight out the bottle, mm -mm. or are you talking about mixing it with soda yeah, or something? Just like pouring it, pouring it up. I ain't gonna drink it raw. I ain't that gangster. Yeah. Ouch. If whoever like that, they gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Shook like that. Okay. Now, how long would you say you were a heavy sipper for, if you can estimate? For about, for about a good three years. Like, three years? Mm hmm Okay. Now, what does sipping do for you, exactly? I mean, it just puts you on the, on, on, uh, uh. A higher level, like, like sipping to make you feel drowsy, like, it make you just feel like loose out your body, like you would just be yeah, feeling. It. But you know, like marijuana can make people feel loose. Mm -hmm. Alcohol or liquor can make people feel loose. Why, why sipping? I don't know. Like, it just, I don't know. It just make you feel heavier. Now, I have seen some other rappers on social media pouring their cough syrup on 
some interesting things. I saw 21 Savage pour it on his waffles. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a Young Thug pour it on an ice cream cone. And I did an interview with somebody about sipping, and they told me one time they had poured um, cough syrup in their Ace of Spades bottle. Mm. Champagne. Yeah, that shit crazy. What's the strangest... I mean, have you done anything that strange, or is it just regular I mean, sipping for you? No, I mean, the, the only strangest thing, like I said, was pouring a pint. We'll pour a whole pint in a, in a two-liter. Pour the whole pint. Like, we'll pour the half for the two-liter out. It'll be a one-liter after we done. We pouring the whole pint up. That's, that's out of the dramatic. Now, are you ever worried about health issues, aside from that one time when your stomach locked up and that sort of thing? Are you ever worried about overdosing by pouring that amount in? Are you worried about, like, dying from it? I mean, yeah, I mean, I was I was scared when I saw Wayne, when I heard, well, when I heard about Wayne, you know, at the end of that shit, but, I mean, I ain't never think about it because we do it every day. Would you say you're addicted? Would you consider yourself an addict um, with no. the cough syrup? No, because I, I can stop. Now, have you had any other health issues with sipping, aside from the stomach lockup and going to the emergency room? Uh, that one time, have you ever had, like, dental issues or mm -mm. No. that sort of thing? No. How much do you... Th I've heard sipping can be very expensive you said you've been you were getting it cheap but yeah we getting them by the cases how we much buying, do you, i'm buying five cases at a time we pouring whole pints how much do you think you've spent if you could estimate on syrup i didn't spend about about fifteen thousand just on sipping yeah on sipping like my whole yeah is it worth it? I mean, it ain't worth 15, but <laughs> I, just, I just know I didn't drink that much because I didn't, man, we done bought a lot of drink, man. We done bought, man, I'm telling you, man. Now, young boy is currently uh, incarcerated in jail right yeah. now. And he Free was a, a big sipper like you, right? Yeah, heavy sipper. He now, loved it. He loved it. Now, how do you think he's or has, how do you think he's had to deal with not having that drug in his system at all since he's been locked up? Um, he, I mean, he, I ain't lying. The first couple of weeks, I know he was crying because he was aching, pain. Like, I know he was going through it. I know it hurt. It hurt your body. Like, you, he, I know he, he, he ain't eat for the first couple of days or the week. I know. No, he didn't because you can't. Like, it's going to be over. Just from the withdrawals. Yeah, but he didn't got used to it. Nah, he ain't, he ain't on nothing. He, he high of life right now. Like, he very high, high of life. It's almost like you're in prison twice because if you think about it, you're already in jail. Mm -hmm. And then not having that drug in your system that you're uh -huh. used to having, it's almost like you're imprisoning your body. Mm -hmm. It's like double jail, if you uh -huh. think about it, so to speak. Uh -huh. And uh, I can't even imagine something like that I know, cause happening. He, he going through it. 